We're going to make a Hello World program in the NetBeans IDE, the Integrated Development Environment in Java. Let's make sure that everything is set up properly. Um, so you can go up here to this icon or up to the File menu and choose New Project. We're going to make a Java project, which is a Java application. Choose Next. I'm going to call this Hello World. No spaces and capital on each word. So H has a capital and W has a capital. That's the convention that we use. I'm putting this in a folder for myself for this year's school files. There's my course name. Orientation is the unit I'm working on and this is activity one. You can see that the project folder, it makes a special folder called Hello World with the same name as this project. I'm also going to create a main class here. Um, the reason I do that is so that the uh, this is um, a complete application all on its own, uh, not just a part that I'm going to plug into another application. I'm also let me just expand the uh, projects list over here. There's my Hello World project. It has one package, the Hello World package, and it has one file, the Hello World.java file. So I'm going to work on that Java file over here. Um, NetBeans automatically creates all of this template stuff for you. A place to put a license, the name of the package, uh, some stuff about the application right here. So we're going to print hello world on the uh, screen, I guess we'll say. It'll print it to the console. This is me, so let me type my own name there. Uh, here is the beginning of the actual class now. So this is what the file is for. The Java file hello world.java contains the class hello world. And between these braces here and this other closing one here, this is the class that this file is for. Now inside of that class we have one method, the main method. And inside of a Java file, the main method is the one that is run to begin the whole process of, of running an application. This documentation stuff was uh, put here automatically. Um, we have a parameter called args. You can see it's right down here. The command line arguments, uh, these are unused in this application. So I'll just fill that in right there. Here is the main method beginning brace and there's a closing brace down there that finishes it off. And in here, this is the, um, the meat of the application. This is the stuff that we want to actually have happen. There's only one thing that we want, capital S on system dot out in lowercase. That is a print stream. That's the console output. System dot out dot print ln is the uh, method that we want. You can see it can print a lot of different kinds of things. Open a bracket. The one kind of thing I want is a string and I want a specific string. So I'm going to put it in double quotes. Hello world. Okay, and you can see now a bunch of stuff was filled in automatically. I have an extra ending quote, I have the uh, ending bracket and a semicolon all filled in automatically for me. Java is case sensitive, so you have to have a capital S at the beginning. You can't put a capital P on print ln. Uh, inside the string, of course, you can do whatever you want. But all of the other stuff, these blue words that are keywords, they're all case sensitive, so you can't uh, mix capitals and lowercase letters wherever you want to. Okay, so I've finished typing out my application. I'm ready to run it. So if when I hit this blue play button up here, or you can go up to the menus, or you can, I'm on the keyboard, I forget, uh, F6 it looks like. Down here it opens the output console window for you in another little frame. Let me just make that a little bigger. It runs it. Here's the output of the program to the console to system.out to that print stream and it says that it's all finished and was successful. No errors. Uh, if you were to make an error, for example, let's say you put a capital P on print LN, it underlined that in red and it also gave me a little warning over here. Cannot find symbol. It can't find that method. It doesn't know what capital P print LN is. So that's a hint that you've done something incorrectly. Okay, so we have a successful program. If you change what's in this string, for example, if I take out that comma, then it, when you rerun the program, it recompiles it and then it runs it and interprets it again. And this time there's no um, comma in that string. And that is your first program. Thanks.